Hello, this is uh, November Oscar II Charlie Whiskey, and in uh, this video I will try to uh, make a comparison between the MFJ9232 um, portable loop tuner and uh, see how well it stacks against a dipole. I have a dipole which is cut and tuned for 20 meters, and it, uh, it is not as high as it would be, so it's a little less than optimal. Uh, position for this dipole, but it is well tuned and it represents a somewhat realistic uh, uh, 20 meter, the average 20 meter dipole that you would find out in the field. Next to it, on this fence, I have a uh, a wire loop made of 14 gauge uh, AWG 14 wire, and uh, I have connected the uh, unit, the MFJ unit, um, up here as you can see. Um, and uh, I will make a comparison between uh, uh, reception on uh, this unit and the dipole and I will just try to get the best out of this loop and compare it to the dipole. Um, if all goes well, I'm hoping to get a decent result out of the loop. I would not hope that it is identical, but we could try to get something similar and see how usable it is out in the field. Um, so if you give me a minute, I will get started and see what uh, signal I can find and hook up my uh, uh, brand new uh, KX2 radio. So here we are. I have bypassed the tuner in the KX2 and this is 14 to 45. So these two guys, I'm getting uh, something uh, between 5, 7, 5, 8 and the other one is picking up to 5, 9. Uh, pretty nice and, uh, and clear signal uh, other than the distance station there that uh, I can barely detect on uh, on this dipole. Yeah, they're picking into uh, five nine. So I will try to uh, change antennas, and I will. You will give me a minute to try to adjust the loop. It takes at least it's at least a two minute exercise to try to get the best out of it. And just also to mention the uh, orientation of both antennas is about the same, north and south. The V inverted V dipole is north south, and the uh, fence mounted uh, loop is also north south. So uh, I will be right back. And um, here we are, 14255. I did the best I could do with the, uh, uh, tuning the loop, and it seems like uh, the uh, wire size that I used is a, is a tad, a tad too long for 20 meters. I will try with a shorter uh, size loop that I have as well. But at best I'm getting a, a, a three level signal and um, that's compared to a A5859 that I was getting there. So let me try the other one as well and uh, make that comparison a little, uh, a little better. And uh, here I am with the loop tuner and the KX2 right next to it. Uh, I am seeing signals anywhere ranging from 5.3 to 5.5. Uh, compared to 59 on the um, on the dipole so that's a uh, uh, quite a bit of a reduction in the signal and the loop that I'm using here is uh, a measured size of eight feet and eight feet is what MFJ recommends for coverage of 20 through uh, 10 meters um, so uh, this is a receive test basically SWR 2.0 right now uh, keep in mind also that SWR changes quite a bit as you change position, as you reach, as you're close to, to the uh, loop antenna. So uh, the, your body has quite a bit of influence on the SWR that you're getting uh, uh, from this setup. Uh, and I will go back to the dipole just in case uh, in a minute. And from the uh, MFJ loop tuner, I am back to, um, back to the dipole. And, uh, Let's uh, listen for a little bit. The signals from the strong station are back to uh, pretty much 5 and 9. And uh, I'll give it a minute here um, for um, some of the stations to um, start speaking up. So there's a noticeable difference. Uh, I would say at least two S units, uh, maybe even three uh, S units that, uh, that we will see between them. Um, also that 8 feet maybe a tad too short for 20 meters so it's, it's very hard to find the right uh, the right size uh, antenna but uh, eight foot eight feet of wire um, I don't know it 
you can get out of it. And uh, they also recommend a much thicker wire than I'm using to make the loop out of. Uh, of course, a copper pipe would probably be the best option. But I'm looking for something that will be very portable, something that will put uh, you can put in a bag. And, uh, Digital angle. Have a good one. KS4IO. Um, also, there could be an option of uh, uh, shorting a... Uh, a piece of coax, like it's used in the commercial Hello, loops, Michael, and, uh, that's what it's for and uh, so this is a very quick and dirty test. Uh, I'll have to experiment quite a bit more just to see how far it goes compared to to a dipole, and uh, also maybe a little later in the day look for some uh, 17 meter signals, uh, or, uh, or, or uh, where I also have a dipole and uh, see how that compares. So uh, I will be back with a little more information later. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is uh, NO2CW. Uh, One more time. This is the, uh, the loop again. The station that was strong 5.9 there uh, is maybe 5.6 uh, on, uh, on this end with the tuned uh, MLJ loop. Okay, one more quick comparison. You can see the station here. And uh, I don't see a sign of it on the loop, although I did a little bit of work to pre-tune the loop the best that I could. About SWR is about 2.0 is all I could get. That's indoor placement of the loop, uh, 15245. So let me get back to the uh, to the full size radio here. Okay, I'm back to the KX2 with the loop. And uh, what this is telling me is that I need a little more experimenting and the main variable in this case uh, seems to be the length and the material used to make the loop uh, and uh, once you take care of that then it's the orientation and all kinds of other factors that, uh, that come in. This is a dipole for 20 meters. It's coming in and out. Uh, but uh, S5 on the peaks, and there's no uh, there's no preamplifier here on the uh, on the dipole. And let me see if I can tune uh, uh, the loop and what I can get, uh, and if I can get the same station. So weak signal on the dipole, and uh, pretty much no signal on the on the loop. And I will give it a minute or two to uh, make a comparison with another station. I can barely detect him um, there. Um, now this is coming up from the north. The um, the signal, uh, the loop will uh, reject that signal much more than a dipole. So you really need to compare that over a wide range of signals, uh, whether they're coming from and uh, and what path they take to uh, to get their signal. And of course, this is an indoor placement of the loop. Remember that as well. Okay, this is going to be QO4 Bravo Bravo Hotel on a dipole. I apologize for the QRM. 
he's buried there between, he's sandwiched between three or four different signals. But he's got a pretty good signal, picking 5-9 here. Now notice that uh, the noise floor on the dipole is much higher than uh, that of the loop. So you also have to look at it at relative terms, not only in terms of the uh, peak uh, readings of the S meter. Uh, so it really is not um, the difference of uh, two S units or even three S units really. Uh, you have to look at it compared to the noise floor. And I will try to connect the, uh, the loop again uh, uh, in a moment. Okay, we're back to the same call sign. Now, less QRM here on the magnetic loop, definitely, you can tell the difference. Signal is speaking to 5.5, uh, five, five, much less, uh, uh, much lower noise floor. And as I said before, the size of this magnetic loop is 8 feet. Uh, now, what? that's the bare minimum. Uh, if it is purpose-built for 20 meters, it should be a little longer. Uh, MFJ's recommendations are that this, that this 8 foot size will fit 20 through uh, 10 meters and I will try to also uh, make a comparison with a slightly larger size uh, wire hooked up to the same uh, tuner so uh, this is a good comparison it illustrates the, the pluses and the, <laughs> uh, the the positives and the negatives of this so I will try to uh, add a couple of more uh, pieces of information to this comparison as well Okay, uh, where were we? We heard short loop. We heard the dipole. This is the same station on a larger size loop. Uh, just a tad larger, closer to what you would need for 20 meters. He's well readable. I would give him a 5-5 five, five here. Okay, same station on the dipole, back to the dipole. Same station on the dipole, let's listen. Keep in mind, this is only a receive-only test. Uh, behavior when transmitting could be an entirely different story. So uh, reception on an antenna should be uh, not be considered an indicator of how it will perform when transmitting. Uh, it helps, but it by no means uh, receiving is an indicator of transmission transmitting properties. So thank you for checking this out. Uh, I apologize, it's it's a little bit scattered, but it's uh, temperature here in this backyard is uh, in, in the upper 90s uh, today. Uh, it's pretty hot and difficult to jump from one antenna to another. Um, one thing that you can't do, and I'll try to illustrate this with this antenna and probably uh, other similar antennas, is you can't casually scroll through the band and look for a signal or come across a signal that you may uh, want to um, contact. Why? Because uh, if you tune it to a particular frequency, we know the transmission bandwidth will be about, let's say, roughly 20 kilohertz, and you would have to tune again. If you receive, the receive bandwidth would be would be a tad larger. I would say about 50, 60, maybe 70 kilohertz. You will have decent reception. However, outside of that, uh, the attenuation will just kick in, and you won't be able to hear much uh, as you scroll through the band. Uh, so. It is not very suitable for just crawling through a band and, and looking for something uh, for, for, for someone calling CQ. Uh, unless you know what frequency uh, you want to tune to and you know where you're going, um, then you can't do that. You're probably better off uh, hanging the longest piece of wire you, you can find to receive and, and find an interesting signal and then use the loop to tune into it for, uh, in order to transmit. Uh, but for, for reception, that's just the way it works. 
it will attenuate anything that's outside of this uh, uh, range of, um, let's say, roughly 50, 70 kilohertz. Um, okay, uh, thank you for uh, checking out this video. Um, I hope to make a few more videos and comparisons if, uh, if I have the time. Uh, this is NO2CW, November Oscar 2, Charlie Whiskey 70.